Well, now I need recovered too. So we are headed up Black Butte and apparently there is a Sprinter van stuck in the snow up there. We're down on the main county road down at the bottom. This is a paved two lane county road and there's gotta be eight inches or so of fresh powder snow on it. And the weird thing is, it is 38 degrees and uh, well, about a mile back there before I turned the camera, it was raining, like raining water, raining. And now it's turning into snow, but being that warm and raining on this much snow and even deeper up the hill means it's just turning it to like slush and water. And then later tonight when the uh, drops below freezing, Oh, this is just going to be a mess. Absolute skating rink. So we're going to get up here, see if we can find this Sprinter van and get him uh, out of here. All right, this is the intersection where we turn off the county road. The paved county road keeps going that way. This is the dirt road that goes up to the top of the mountain. And I guess three, four miles up here is where that Sprinter van is. And uh, you can see it's a good bit of snow down here. Maybe a little more than eight inches or so. The roads aren't plowed at all. Uh, whole area is super short staffed on plow drivers so a lot of these secondary roads that don't really lead to anywhere they're just not worrying about plowing so I'm not going to air down or put on the chains because um, my assumption is that if a sprinter van made it up there I will make it up there and then if I have to I can air down and chain up and do all that so we shall see. this i don't know if you can hear that or not but it is like back to full-on water raining not even snowing anymore it's just rain if i turn on that you can see isn't that crazy and we turn two corners and it is back to big huge snowflakes i don't even know what's going on tonight slid off the side. Let's go take a look. Alright. No hitch on the back, so I'll probably just grab a wheel. How you doing? Hey, hey. So you need pulled out of here. Yeah, just turn it around really, I think. But uh, yeah. the other issue is that my headlights are out, so. Oh, no headlights? Yeah. Well, I could tell you to like the Yeah, we can do that. It might just be a fuse, too. We could check. What's that? So, not too far from the edge here. Yeah, I was. Yeah, the cops pulled me a little bit and kind of felt the back. We got over here. Oh, they pulled and it slid over. Are you guys the ones that did the YouTube video? Yeah. So, no trees here are going to hurt. So, yeah, the edge is right there in the snow. Right. Yeah. Okay, so we'll pull your back in first to get it away from the edge. Then we'll worry about turning around and all that. We'll just see if I could side pull up my winch and if it'll do it. And if not, I'll aim for that tree and that gives a good lift and pull at the same time. So we'll see what works. Okay, we're going to get up here. His back end needs to go straight sideways, and I just slid in the ditch. So the plan was to hug the ditch a little bit to help with the side pull, but I think we got plenty of anchoring in the ditch over there now for the side pull. <laughs> yeah, right? I'm, I'm totally going to say that was intentional. Oh yeah. Yeah, this is fine. This deep. Yeah, quite a bit up here. Uh. 
Oh good, leaf spring. We're just gonna wrap right around your leaf spring. This is not the first time I've put this particular truck in the ditch on a recovery. <laughs> Dumbass. Well, now I need recovered too. We'll see if that wants to go where I want it. If not, we might move it to the back side of the tire on the spring. Uh, I don't think you need to worry about it for now. We're going to leave it in park first and see what it does. Go ahead and hop in and put it in drive, but don't give it any throttle. Turn your wheel to the driver's side. Perfect. Okay, give a little throttle. Perfect. No, just like that, because as that tire spins, it makes you slide to the side. There you go, okay, hold on. Okay, hold on there. Hold on there. See if there's something good under the back here. There's not. These Sprinter vans have nothing. Okay, do it again. Easy. That's all right. I'll see if I'll pull myself out now and then I can move up there and pull, pull you forward more. We got you away from the edge, which is what I wanted most. Okay. This winch sucks so much freaking power. It bogs the truck down to nothing in a heartbeat. It's terrible. Okay. Look at that, I winched myself five feet and went all the way down until the battery light warned me, so had to stop. We are coming out of the ditch though, so that's good. We'll do a little more. Watch that battery gauge. We are moving though. Okay. I winch you to me, I winch me to you. It's back and forth. Okay. Now I'm gonna reset somewhere. After hook points on the front, nothing. Cool. Now we'll go to the A arms. I don't know what I want.
Okay. I am going to stand off to the left because if that winch cable goes, it's going to go to the right. Oh, come on. This winch. It's time for that winch to go. It's like on its last leg. Come forward a little bit if you can. Let's go ahead and hold there. We got turbo on it. All right, back at this turn right here is a, it's pretty wide. I've turned people around right there quite a few other times. So we'll see if we can get you there. That'll be the best spot to turn around. So Just back up myself and then once I get there. I'll, I'll help you turn to the driver's side. A little more. Okay, go ahead and back up easy. Yep, keep going, you're good. Okay. Yep, go driver's side a little more. Okay, straight. See, look at what's under the snow. Straight ice. That's why you slid. Look at this. Ice. Okay, passenger. Passenger side. Okay, straight. Okay, good over here. Yeah, basically follow this track that's on this side right here. Just, no, don't turn with it. Just get to the turn and then stop there. I'll go make sure it's clear where we're going to back you around. Okay, we're going to check over here. I've turned quite a few people around right here uh, before. See someone else turned around right here. Let's make sure nothing got put here since then. Doesn't look like it. Okay, come on back straight. Turn driver's side a little. Okay, passenger, all the way. Give a little throttle. A little more, a little more. A little more, stop there. Okay, turn all the way, driver, and go forward about four feet. We're gonna do like Austin Powers turn. Perfect, right there. All the way, passenger, and back up. A little more, a little more, right there. Yeah, just get right in my tracks here. Yep, you're fine. Okay, I'm gonna go wind my winch up and grab my stuff and All right, cool. come down. All right, here's where I was stuck in the ditch. And here's where he was stuck over the bank. I never said I was good at this. You see here where he just slid straight siders with the back end right to the edge. And that's like long ways. So good thing it stopped here. But you see under the snow, look at this. Under the snow, look at ice. That's why uh, it's so hard to drive on. Okay, let's uh, wind this in and then think about putting a new winch on this truck. All the snow piled in the bumper where I was ramming into the bank, <laughs> trying, trying to get out of there. Oh well, should have aired down or put the chains on. Actually, as, as icy as this is under, uh, the chains would have been better because they could go down and dig. Uh, there's solid ice just down, so chains would be good in that situation because they can go down and grab that ice and get you traction. Is there anything else closed? I don't even know. Nope. 
Whew. I'm hot. Let's go turn on the air conditioner. So his headlights aren't working. And uh, mine over here keeps going out. But the fix. There you go. Now it works. I'll fix that one day too. Right. Let's get off this mountain. So this is why I want to build this truck up into a uh, much better recovery type of truck and uh, maybe a better winch set up off the back. Uh, that front winch, it's, it's old worn out junk. Uh, but I do have a Badlands winch in the back of this truck that goes in the receiver mount in the back. So I was not relying only on that winch. I have a very good 12,000 pound backup sitting in the back of the truck. I probably should have just used that. But, uh, but stuff like this is what I want to set this truck up for to be a lot better at. Uh, obviously for the recovery portion of that, uh, the Wrecker would have been the far better truck for the job, but I don't really want to bring the Wrecker up here uh, in this much snow unless I were to like build it up into a much better four-wheel drive rig, which I really don't want to do because that truck is just so like original and perfect and in such amazing shape. It's just an original 88 truck that I don't really want to go like modifying it all up and doing a bunch to it. I just love the old school like truck that it is. So I really want to leave it like it is. And this one be the one that you like build up and take out into the gnarlier stuff and, and things like that. So that's kind of my plan and what I'm thinking. So like I said in a previous video, we'll get through the winter and I kind of reevaluate uh, this truck especially. And uh, it could very well be just... Uh, throw that solid winch mount on the front, uh, replace the bushings and the steering so it goes straight and then uh, call it good and then it is what it is or do quite a bit more to it. Not sure but but the wrecker I really don't want to modify that truck because it's it's just so like nice and like cool old school truck and I just want to leave it like that so uh, yeah basically what I'm saying is I don't know what I'm gonna do so we'll figure it out. All right, since his headlights are not working and I knocked some sense back into mine, I moved up front in front of him and I'm leading him out and I've got my backlight pointed straight down at the road behind him or behind me so that he can kind of see what he's coming up on. There's a campground just up here by the highway. I'm gonna lead him to that. He's gonna stay there until daylight tomorrow and then head back into town. That's the plan anyway. All right, we have made it down to campground. This is the spot you're thinking? Yeah, this is perfect. Okay, perfect. All right, well, you're all set. No charge for anything. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, no charge. Did you guys make some money off of YouTube? Yeah. Yep. All right, you have a good one. Yeah. Okay. Let's go home or go somewhere else if the phone rings before we get home. He is going to camp out here for the night and then uh, tomorrow in the daylight, head up out of here back to town and go get some new headlights. All right, back to the highway. And, uh, there ain't much traffic out here because it is midnight. So we'll just cruise back uh, nice and easy because the roads all froze up and uh, head for home. So hopefully you guys enjoyed coming along on a amateur hour recovery where I got stuck even worse than the guy I was going to get. But either way, both of us made it back down to the bottom with no problem. So no harm, no foul. I'm still calling it a win. Thank you guys for watching. See you next time.